As we compare two designer jelly sandals today, I will get into the differences and the similarities of both and ultimately share with you my favorite out of the two. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new around here. My name is May, also known as Mrs. Leva, and today I'm going to get into a comparison video in regards to my two designer jelly sandals that I currently own. The first pair that we will be addressing is my Valentino Rockstud jelly sandals. I have had these for almost over two or three years. I currently own two pairs. I have the black jelly rock studs and then I also have this nude pair which were actually the first pair that I added into my jelly sandal collection. And last but not least I will also be sharing my thoughts in regards to the newest addition to my jelly sandal collection and that is these Hermes ones. I will pop up the name on the screen because I know I'm going to butcher it. So today's video will be focused around a comparison of these two sandals. I will be sharing the differences in the similarities the pros the cons and of course I will be letting you guys know which is my favorite out of the two and I gotta tell you that my favorite wins by a landslide now without further ado let's jump right into the comparison both of these are currently available for purchase the Hermes you can only get them through the Hermes website or through USA the Valentino jelly rock studs are actually available through various websites and retailers as well the Hermes currently retail for $315 while the Valentino are a little bit more expensive at $490. Now the detail on the website says that the Irma sandals are made of a rubber sole while the Jelly Rock Studs are a PVC material. Pretty much they are about the same sort of material in my opinion. So I ended up going to Google and it actually says that rubber is a heavier and more durable material than PVC. You can definitely feel a little bit more of a sturdier rubber on this one. Sorry, they keep opening. I'm trying to keep them up here for some eye candy for you guys. And the Valentinos, I definitely feel like over time the sole starts getting softer in a sense. However, it doesn't take away from the fact that the Jelly Rock Studs are actually very comfortable. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing for these in that matter, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. Let me go over the basic details of each sandal individually. So the Valentino Jelly Rock Studs obviously have the Rock Stud details to them. My black ones do have the Rock Studs in the gold finish. However, my nude ones do come in a sort of monochromatic Rock Stud look which I personally love that look. I wish that those were still available. If I do find them, I'll make sure to link them down below for you guys. The entire sandal is made out of that PVC material, so that is the main reason why I feel like these are a great option in order to take them to the beach or if you just wanna wear them for like a summer outing. Keep in mind, due to the fact of that PVC or rubber material that these two sandals are made out of, if your feet tend to get sweaty because it's very hot or your feet just tend to sweat overall, these do become a little bit slippery, so I do want to point that out right off the bat. The other detail that the Valentino Jelly Rock Studs do have is that they do have the branding on the heel of the sandal. And then the bottom of these in particular do have sort of like this very pretty floral pattern to them doesn't make any difference for me in reality but just wanted to point that out now moving on to the Hermes jelly sandals and these have that rubber sole as it is stated on the website the finish on these in particular is a little bit more matte than the Valentino ones the foot of the sandal is in a matte finish overall and then this chain detail that they do have here varies between a glossy finish and a matte finish as you can see so you do have the front chain in a more glossier finish and then the other two chain details in the back are a more matte finish they also have the branding of the hermes fashion house on the heel and then the sole of these two sandals do have sort of like an h pattern to them as you can tell right here now i wanted to address the wear and tear of each particular sandal my valentinos have been with me for a lot longer than the hermes i just recently unboxed the Hermes which I got for my birthday a couple of months back and I have started wearing them just so that I can do this review for you guys and sort of share my thoughts in regards to that sandal in particular so that one of course will have a lot less wear however I do have a lot of things to point out in regards to the Hermes sandal so we'll get into that for the Valentino Jelly Rock Studs, the most wear and tear that I do see from these is just basically the wear at the front of the sandal. Obviously it is a shoe, so you guys know that they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get scuffed. 
it is made in that rubber material so if you do hit your foot against anything it's more prone to chip a lot quicker so just wanted to point that out for the most part i do wear these sandals whenever i'm going to the beach and then i do take them to potentially wear them when we're going out to dinner if we're just going to maybe a bar or a more casual type of restaurant i do feel like since these have the rock studs and i have said this many times before they are super cute in order for you to still be able to incorporate them with a beachy look on the topic of the rock studs i gotta say that they look just like they did when i first got them you could see a lot more wear on the gold ones and i'll make sure to bring it up close to share with you guys especially at the tip of the pyramid, I guess you can call. You can definitely see a little bit of the gold chipping from there. However, since it is more of a muted gold, sort of like a champagne gold, almost silver color, I feel like even though they have chipped, you could barely ever tell, especially since these go on your feet. So they're just very far from the eye in order for somebody to actually pinpoint, oh wow, you have a chipped rock stud. So I really feel like they have worn really, really well, especially for the fact that I take them to the beach. I get sand on them. I get salt water in them. I just really have enjoyed using these sandals. And I always feel like they are that finishing touch to my beach outfit. Another thing that I did want to point out specifically in the nude color is that the fact that it is a lighter color, obviously if it does get scuffed or if it does get stained, it's going to show more on the nude color rather than on the black. Something else that I have seen a lot of wear on is the stamping of the branding on the heel. Your heel is obviously going to rub on this piece. So I knew that it would only be a matter of time before that started sort of like fading. And you can definitely see it more on the nude one than you can on the black one. The nude has sort of turned this like greenish color. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember what the color was when I unboxed them. If I do find a picture online, I'll make sure to pop it up but you can totally see how it's starting to fade. I don't think that it will get to a point where the stamping of the brand will completely be gone. I've had mine, I wanna say for four years. So if you've had yours longer and the stamping has already completely faded, let us know in the comment section down below. Now moving on to the Hermes Jelly Sandals and the wear and tear on these. I've had these for about a month and a half and I have worn them in order to be able to give you guys a little bit more detail when I did do this review. I honestly do feel like these over time are going to wear a lot better than the jelly rock studs will because they also don't have any sort of metals that can wear over time due to the salt water and the sand and obviously in the black color i just feel like they'll be able to hide any scuffs or mark a lot better now we will dive into the comfort of each of these and boy are they completely different by a landslide but before we do that i wanted to share how it is that i care and clean for these so as I said, I wear them majorly whenever I go to the beach. So obviously they're going to get sand, they're going to get salt water on them. But whenever it is that we're heading back home, what I do is I just kind of give them a rinse on the showers that the beach offer. And then once we make them back to the hotel or my house, I do give them a deeper rinse in the sink. I definitely have a little brush that I use just to try to get into the crooks and crannies of the sandals in order to get out any sand that might be stuck on there. And then I just use a towel or even a paper towel to dry them out. I've also cleaned them with a alcohol-free wipe and that works just as well. I just lay them out to dry if I want to or once again, I just use a paper towel in order to dry them. So they are a super, super carefree type of beach sandal. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to have so much maintenance to them even though they are designer. They are very carefree and very easy to take care of in my opinion. I also wanted to touch up on sizing. So these both just come in full sizes. They don't have half sizes available. So definitely you need to size up. If you are a seven, I would definitely size up an extra size because they do run a little bit small. My mother-in-law is an eight and I ended up getting her a pair in the size nine because the eight was still too small for her to wear. So that is my recommendation. I would definitely go up a full size. I tend to be either a seven or a seven and a half in my slight sandals. And I had to go up to an eight on both. For the Hermes, I would definitely try to go into the boutique and try them on just because you do have this sort of caged style here in the center. 
so if you do have wider feet or if you do have a higher arc on your foot then this can definitely be a little bit tight i'll definitely get into more detail once i address the comfort of each sandal but if you could definitely go into the boutique to try these out that's what i would recommend for you to do all right now let's get to the fun part and that is the comfort of these two as I have said, I have had the Valentino Jelly Rock Stud sandals for a longer period of time. I do feel like the fact that it just has one simple strap here makes it a lot better in order for your foot just to fit in and hold on to the sandal. I know you guys will understand me, so I'm going to try to explain it as best as I could. But when you wear these sort of flip-flop style sandals, your toes are basically holding on to just this little piece in the front therefore you can feel like your foot can cramp a little bit over time you can also feel a little bit of cramping on your calves however these sandals are just very comfortable to wear so in that sense i really enjoy using these i have mentioned it before when i've talked about these previously but i've actually even worn these to go like into the mall or just to run some errands on the weekends and I've worn them non-stop for hours and when I get back home my feet are perfectly fine I don't have any pain on my heels they honestly are a really good comfortable pair of sandals and I've gotten questions from you guys before asking me if I would recommend them and I 125% would as I said, I feel like not only are they a great cute little beach sandal, but I also feel like you can transition them into other occasions where you just need to wear a basic pair of flip-flops. Now, let's address the comfort level on these bad boys. You guys, uh, I love them. I think they're very cute. They're very Hermes. They're everything that I expected them to be in the sense that I like how they fit on my foot. I really like how they look, especially when I'm just wearing a cute little cover up. Comfort wise, these are not it. <laughs> you guys know that I love doing review videos, but you will always get honest review videos from me. No matter if the piece was expensive, if it was a gift, whatever it is, I will always tell you guys the truth. And unfortunately, at least for me, these have not been as comfortable as I expected them to be. As I said with the Valentinos, right from the start, the moment that I used them, they were always comfortable. Maybe these will get comfortable over time, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted, probably over on my Instagram, or, or maybe just do a quick little review here on a future video. But as of right now, I gotta say that these are not the most comfortable shoes. I love that I can just wear them, go to the beach with them, hang out at the beach, and then just wear them and come back. These would definitely not be that pair that I would probably wear later on at night to go out if I needed to walk like for a longer period of time. Definitely not the pair that I would reach for if I was running errands for a couple of hours. I personally have not the highest arch, but I do have a little bit of an arch at the top of my foot. So this part right here is really tight on my foot. So in that sense, it does get a little bit uncomfortable. And the main thing that I did notice comfort wise is this band up here. I believe it is the way that it's hooked to this little chain piece, but this really rubs between my fat toe and then the other toe that comes next to it in a very uncomfortable way. This piece is also very, very stiff. So it doesn't have much give in order for your feet to slide a little bit more comfortable. So by far, that is the top two things that I noticed from these sandals. We just came back from Naples and I made sure to take them with me in order to wear them to be able to give you my thoughts better in this review video. And those were the two things that I noticed right away, especially when they get sand in the shoe. The fact that the Valentinos are more of an open style sandal, once they do get sand in, your foot just sort of continues to walk in them very comfortably. You don't feel any rubbing of the sand. These, I did feel a little bit of discomfort in that sense. Back again to the fact that you have this sort of cage style right here, which wraps around the top of your foot a little bit more. So therefore, if you do get any sand in between this piece and then the top of your foot, you will definitely feel that rubbing there. As for my heel and as for the sole of the sandal itself, that is very comfortable. I don't have any complaints in regards to that. We did walk in order to grab a little bit of lunch. So we probably walked around for about, I would say maybe like 20, 30 minutes and I didn't feel any discomfort on my heel part. 
However, as for my toe, because of this little thong part, I'm not sure what this is called, you guys. And then the cage style of the sandal. Those two were the parts in which I felt the most discomfort. All right, so I think I pretty much touched up on everything in regards to these two sandals. If I missed anything or if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to adjust them as best as I can. As I mentioned, I did want to share which is my favorite out of the two and I'm sure it comes at no surprise, but that is the Valentino Jelly Rock Studs. Here we have both pairs that I own and I honestly feel like not not only are these sandals so much more comfortable than the Hermes ones, I really just like the fact that they can be incorporated into different outfits, especially for a beach vacation. I live in Miami, so I go to the beach a lot. But even besides that, I go to a lot of places that are by the ocean, so I really feel like I can incorporate these into looks, whether I am going to the beach that day or I'm not. And then if I do opt to take them to a beach vacation, which I have done numerous of times, I love using these to then style them for my night outfits. We just recently went to Mexico and I took a pair of heels. The first night I wore my heels, but the rest of the night I just wasn't feeling like wearing a pair of heels and these went with my outfits perfectly fine. So I really enjoy the versatility that these offer. They do come in a ton of different colors as well, while the Hermes ones are just currently available, I think in a total of three colors. So you do have the option of choosing a fun, bright color if you wanted to go that route also. So that does it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section which of the two you prefer if you own one or the other. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch today and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye everyone! Bye.